What's up everybody, this is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob, doing a cognac video today, specifically why you shouldn't be buying big brand cognacs. What I have in front of me here is a artisanal cognac from Famili Valin Tersinier. I probably butchered that, I apologize, but all the important facts are on the bottle, which is very important for today's video. What many don't know is Cognacs tend to have a bunch of additives. Sugar, caramel coloring, which is also known as E150A, and Boise. Boise is a compound that basically gives a spirit wood-like characteristics, making it taste older, or make the drinker think it's older than it actually is. On this bottle, it says no added color, unchill filtered, cast strength this was aged from 1967 bottled in 2018 making this over 50 years old the color is beautiful on it it doesn't have to add wood coloring to it or wood flavoring to it to make it taste older it is old yes this was expensive i paid about 450 to 500 dollars canadian for that i have seen this as low as 250 euro so i think that's a very reasonable price for something that sat in a cask for over 50 years in a distillery now hennessy martel coessier remy martin all the big name brands are guilty of using the added sugars which can either be cane sugar or beet sugar the boise which is in my opinion a disgrace to alcohol you should not be able to use that at all Added color, they say, is used for consistency to keep one batch similar to the next. Now, does it have Boise? I would assume it doesn't, although it doesn't say that. Does it have added sugars? I'm going to say probably not because it's not the most sweet cognac I've ever had. Recently, I had an experience with Hennessy XO, and it was one of those eye-opening moments for me because my whole life, watching my dad enjoy it with his friends as I got of age, drinking it with my friends on special occasions, always thinking that that was a prestige liquid. After all the experience I've had on Whiskey in the Six, I tried that Hennessy XO and I could tell right off the hop there was added sweeteners to it. I didn't know what it was. I had to do the research afterwards, but you could just tell by the taste. You can just tell you were tasting something artificial. And that's what happened with that experience. Maybe fortunately, it guided me to find something like this. This beautiful cognac, Famille Valine Tessinier. I probably butchered that, but I am gonna give you a review of this cognac today to show you what an artisanal cognac should be like. There are other options out there. If you don't mind the additives and that doesn't bother you at all, buy Armagnac instead because there's a lot of Armagnacs that either are natural or have the artificial flavors in it but are age stated up to 20 years old and very reasonable in price let's give this over 50 year old cognac a go okay so this is the type of spirit that you can nose for hours it's incredible on the nose beautiful cherry leather notes cigar box kind of notes as well something beautifully fruity in there like I said cherry earlier maybe mandarin beautiful beautiful light caramel notes honestly you can nose this forever Definitely in love with this nose. Okay, uncho filter, no added color, cast strength, 47.6% on the palate. A 
mouth coating, cherry cough syrup on the palate. Nothing overwhelming as far as heat goes, even though it's cast strength, it is only 47.6%. The ABV in cognac evaporates faster than the water content in the spirit. So um, the ABV tends to drop, this one being 46.6. A lot of cognacs drop below 40% and they have to raise it up with other cognacs in the distillery to bring it up to legal drinking ABV, which is 40. This is a wow cognac. Honestly, you can taste the purity of it. Beautiful dark chocolate notes on that one. Nice coffee notes. Still get a little bit of that cherry, but not as much as the first sip. It's less toward cherry cough syrup, more towards just fruity cherry. But then, like I said, dark chocolate, coffee. That cigar box carries through a little bit on the palate. Really, really nice. Honestly, overall, this is incredible stuff. If you don't believe my review on this, head over to whiskeyfun.com. That's Serge's website. He gave this a 91. I'm gonna go one more than that and give this a 92. It's expensive, but you're getting over five decades of spirit aging in a barrel for under $500 Canadian. I think that's a very reasonable price in my opinion. I think I've paid well over that for much younger scotch and this is incredible stuff i'm gonna enjoy the rest of this with family and friends really good stuff and what i will actually do is put one sample of this into the mystery drams for my sixer crew on patreon one lucky person i'm gonna bag each of the drams and then label them afterward so i won't know who's getting what that's kind of the way I like to do it so that I don't play favorites. Everybody gets something random. One dram of this will be in the mystery jams for Sixer Crew. So if you're not part of the Sixer Crew and you would like to, check out my Patreon. All right, that's it for me, guys. Like I said, this is a 92, really, really excellent cognac. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can check me out on Patreon as well. Check out our podcast, The Whiskey Rant, and check out my buddy Steve Monty, who has just started Six Gin and Rock and Roll, his own YouTube channel. He does the editing for this channel, so you want to check him out as well. Cheers.